Henry Kissinger praises your new book and you thank him in it in the dedication. What's your relationship like with him? What makes him interesting? Maybe what makes him controversial? What makes him such a central figure in history? First, most importantly, he's unique about seeing things through all the other's eyes. Um, so if you were, it's like there's a chess game. I mean, I think geopolit geopolitics is like a chess game, but with multiple chess players playing the same game. <laughs> yes. So imagine there are <laughs> six people around yes. playing the chess game, uh -huh. and he could sit in each seat and he could know how they see it, okay? And see it in a calm way of how they see it. He's unique in that way. He's 98 years old and he's equally able to do that. And he has a background that in which he's a historian. So he really understands history super terrifically. Um, he doesn't understand economic history as much. So that's why, to some extent, we enjoy having a conversation because <laughs> yeah. he's interested in the ec and the in the economic piece he doesn't know, and I'm so interested in the geopolitical piece that I don't know as well. But anyway, he's able to do that, but not only a historian, but a practitioner. So when you go from an academic to a practitioner who has that talent to see things through others' eyes in an objective way and to be strategic rather than just tactical, uh, that's a very special person, and that's why Henry is, uh, to me, a very special person. Yeah, he's lived a fascinating life. Just all all of the world events he's been involved in is fascinating. And like you said, that's such an interesting skill to have, to consider what are the concerns, the hope, the dreams, the fears of the, all the people at the table? What are they thinking? I, I find that people don't, once again, don't do that enough when it's the obvious thing you should be doing, whether it's business deals or um, political negotiation or geopolitical negotiation. I'm often surprised again, sorry to go to the Russian thing because I, 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 I hear sort of like, I hear Putin talk in Russian and you start to infer certain intentions and like not the trivial stuff, like the human being. What is, what is that human being hoping for himself, for his country? for his close in a circle, for the bigger, like, and I, I just see that that's often just lost in translation. I just see like American leaders talking to Putin and it's just not, it's, there's not a connection. It's Absolutely, I know exactly what you're talking about. You, I, it has never failed that in my listening to a conversation and, or even reading a speech or, and you see then it reported, the inevitably the reporter picks some headline characterization yeah. that has very little to do with what was really happening, but might be a headline grabber that's a, some kind of distortion and there's a lack of understanding of really what's going on.